this is the cops' fault and not their fault. They're all also really poorly trained. Like these cops weren't trained to handle protests. These cops were trained to like take down robbers and shit. So like aim is very bad. Like you have a lot of like there's multiple videos of cops like pressing pepper spray and accidentally pepper spraying themselves. That's like hilarious. <laughs> their, their training's really bad. <laughs> but the, when they fire tear gas, it's not like crowd control. They're just like firing them in the air wherever they can go. So like you know, there's a where you protest. It's two way streets. But if you tear gas on either end, then people are just going to try to go through the sides in these small alleyways, and they like trample over each other. Uh. So I was like, I was more worried about stampede than anything. And I've heard from people be like, yeah, there was so much tear gas that like everybody just ran into a small area and like, you know, we trampled each other. The cool thing is like there were at some protests, some of the big malls like opened up and be like, everybody get inside the mall. We promise the cops come, can't come in here. Um, so that was, I mean, there's some like nice stuff about that. But like it does turn scary pretty quickly. And then you get used to it pretty quick. Like, oh. like later into the protest, it's like, all right, we're protesting. I hear some tear gas. It's, we're just calmly like, oh, tear gassing. I probably go home now. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> How many tear gas is going to take to get to the point where you're like, oh, yeah, tear gas. Yeah. And it's it's hilarious, like the the amount of things people are able to do to like stop tear gas. Yeah. So like tear gas, if tear gas gets wet and it's covered, so people would just like bring cups of water. They'd run towards the tear gas canisters, just like put the cup on top of the tear gas canister. Canister, the water puts it out. The cup controls all the smoke, and it's fine. So you Whoa. see people running towards tear gas, just like put it out for everyone else. It's like insane. Wow. Yeah. Damn, yeah. that's brave. Well, yeah, it was badasses. Or like guys like tennis rackets. They see someone shoot tear gas. They'd run up to it and <laughs> smack it back at the cops. I'm like, oh, oh these guys are fucking badasses. Oh, my God. Badminton with uh, fucking tear gas. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was my last question, but I sort of see it now already. It was like, does this make like, is this like a cool, fun thing to do? Does it bring people together? Is it like a, a camaraderie I mean, it, it situation? Kinda, it kind of does. Like, I, I think I talked about it a little earlier, but like the art thing's really cool. Like you have, you have people get together, like, you know, we're going to write songs about this shit. We're going to build giant statues about the protests. Yeah. So, or like we're going to paint giant murals. So that's kind of brought people together. Um, and it's kind of like at least before tear gassing starts, like the protests are pretty fun. Like you, it's like a big sense of community. There's kids involved. There's old people involved. There's, uh, um, we have these like sweat patches. They're like things you can stick on your forehead that will cool you down in the heat. Oh yeah, and, like, so you have hot people, there. Like, yeah, and you have people running around handing them out to old people, or like when it rained, it's like, hey, all the people with umbrellas, like pass it on to the older people who don't have umbrellas. Like we can get wet, they shouldn't get wet. It's like, it's like oh. a really big community effort thing. Um, there's people passing out water all the time, like free shit. It's like, hey, how long have you protested? Have you not eaten? Here's some free bread, you know? Like, oh damn! Like one guy, one guy literally like just bought out McDonald's, like bought out everything that was in McDonald's and just started handing them out at the protests. <laughs> and like, it's like cool community spirit and that stuff. And there's like a lot of singing involved. People in China, we love karaoke, right? We're just like singing songs. Wow. Yeah. Now that yeah, guy who pretty, brought, uh, the like, guy who brought out McDonald's was actually trying to poison everybody because it's fucking horrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, like this, uh, and, and this is, I mean, it's like the most Chinese shit ever. Um, there was, it was fucking adorable. There was like a group of kids who were playing on their violins the new Chinese anthem, "Glory to Hong Kong," and they kept playing on their violins. And uh, someone asked them like why did you why are you guys playing your violins going to hong kong like i i I know we love the song but why on the violins and they said our parents said we can go protest but we still have to practice the violin (laughs) 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 like that's That's the most asian shit that's so chinese you have you have have so many like especially teenage age like they're they're protesting while like clearly doing homework i'm like oh my god this is the most like i'm not falling behind yeah that's funny (laughs) 